Understanding what people are doing can help your app better adapt to your users' needs. I'm Mark Stagaitis, and I'm going to show you how you can tell if your users are walking, running, cycling, or in a vehicle, and how to use it to improve your app experience. This can be done with the Activity Recognition API on Android. Once you've set up the system in your application, activities are automatically detected by periodically reading short bursts of sensor data and processing them using machine learning models. We've recently trained new models as well as added the use of Bluetooth to significantly improve the accuracy and reduce the latency of detected activities. Receiving recognized activity callbacks only takes a few lines of code. Start by connecting to the Activity Recognition API and defining where you want connection callbacks to go. Then, request activity updates by specifying a desired detection interval and a pending intent where you'd like activities delivered. Your application will receive callbacks with extras containing an activity recognition result. This contains a list of activities that the user may be doing at a particular time. So what can you do with this extra information? Well, for example, if a user starts running, you'll get a callback indicating the most probable activity is running. If the confidence is 75 or higher, you know you can act on it and show a notification asking if they want to start tracking their run. Or when an app is in use and the user starts driving, you can offer up a switch to car mode dialog. You can also use it for historical cases, such as showing your users where they parked their car or how long they spend commuting to work each day. Reducing memory consumption is important to keep phones running smoothly. When using the API, a common use case is that an application wants to monitor activities in the background and perform an action when a specific activity is detected. Typically, when developing for Android, you'd use a persistent running service to handle this. But sadly, that consumes a lot of resources. This API removes that burden by delivering the data via an intent. The application specifies a pending intent callback, typically an intent service, which will be called with an intent when activities are detected. So there's no need to keep a service always running in the background. Minimizing battery usage is also important. On devices that have a significant motion sensor, the battery is conserved by stopping activity reporting when the device is still for an extended period of time. It'll resume once devices moves again. I hope this gives you a taste for how your app can make use of the Activity Recognition API. This is just the beginning. Watch out for new activity types being added soon.